Hi, and welcome to this speed demonstration of Genie Voice Command for Maya Autodesk. In this demonstration, I'm going to not be going into a whole lot of detail about the program, um, but it, it's going to be more of just showing you exactly how fast you can work uh, in Maya using Genie Voice Command and using your voice to trigger off commands in Maya, uh, uh, very much like how you can speed up your workflow in Maya using hotkeys. Um, but don't worry, uh, Genie Voice Command will not uh, ruin all your, your hotkeys that you're used to or that you're currently using. Um, so, and in fact, you'll probably notice that during the demonstration that I actually use um, hotkeys at the same time that I'm using my, my voice um, to trigger things off while I'm, you know, commands off while I'm uh, doing the demonstration. And the two, the two combined together can really, really speed up your, uh, your, your speed. Um, the nice thing about Genie Voice Command is that, um, you're fairly limited to the norm, you know, to a, to a, a certain amount of being able to memorize different hotkeys and what they do. Um, uh, if you're lucky, you can memorize, uh, well, I'm sure most people, if they're lucky, they can memorize 20 or 30 hotkeys. And then, of course, you gotta look down or hopefully you can feel the keys. Uh, underneath your fingers and press the right key combination when you're doing hotkeys. Um, so hotkeys are great, but they can be kind of limiting. Uh, Genie Voice Command, on the other hand, has over 5,000 voice commands programmed into into the program. Um, basically, uh, what I went through is I went through and went through every menu uh, at the top in these menus um, and created a voice command for each one of these commands, you know, um, you know, for, um, you know, go to bind pose, you just say go to bind pose, um, or smooth bind, uh, to smooth bind, uh, uh, a mesh to a skeleton, or, um, so, um, so I, I went through all these, and that's why there's over five, five thousand of them, um, <laughs> um, so, and, and probably most people, if anybody who's been working in Maya for very long, will know off the top of their head probably many more voice commands than they do uh, hotkey commands, uh, just just off of the top of their heads. Um, let's see. There are a few. There's. I'll, I'll go over one exception. Um, uh, one exception is saying delete. Uh, you just don't say the word delete. Say delete object. So if you want to delete something that's anything actually really um, uh, at, if, if it's in the outliner or if it's in the in the, uh, in your work screen um, or your work window here um, if you if it's the locator which technically isn't an object um, you just say delete object so even if it's not an object you say delete object um, I did that so that you don't actually accidentally see the word delete and delete something that you're working on um, by accident Although you can just say the words undo instead of control Z. Um, uh, although many people probably find that they're so used to control Z that that's actually faster for them. But you still have the option of saying undo. Okay, so let's get back to the, to the interface. Okay, so right now the program is started and it's not doing anything because it's in sleep. Um, you can say the word, you can say the word sleep and it will go into this sleep mode. Um, or you can say the word wake and, and have it wake up. Um, now you notice that it didn't it didn't wake up when I said the word wake. That's because it has there has to be a slight pause between commands, and the program is actively listening for those two pauses. Be, be, you know, a little bit of silence before the command, and a little bit of silence after the command, and so um, that's why it didn't it didn't come. It didn't wake up after I said the word wake because there was no pause before the word and no pause after the word. And um, you'll you'll get you'll get under you'll get used to the flow as you start hearing how I use the program. So uh, let's get started. Wake. I am listening. Create polygon cube. Shaded. Bevel. Attribute editor. Channel box, delete history, freeze transformation, face. I 
extrude, height grid, two edge loop, bevel, attribute editor, edge, two edge loop, soften edge, vertex, expand, undo, expand, convert to contained edges, soften edge, vertex, full screen, expand, convert to contained edges, soften edge, face, X-ray, show grid, X-ray, create Lambert, object, close attribute editor, backface culling, backface culling, wireframe unshaded, Smooth wireframe, bounding box, wireframe, shaded, wireframe unshaded, flat shade all, smooth shade all, use default materials, use default materials, front, right side, left side, back, bottom, top, reset, orthographic view, reset, render view, UV Texture Editor, Automatic Mapping, Close UV Texture Editor, Hypershade, Plugin Manager, Script Editor, Clear Script Editor History, Close Script Editor, Outliner, so as you can see you can work very very fast uh, using your voice. Um, right now I'm actually holding down the shift key um, and the shift key temporarily puts the program into sleep mode so that if say you, uh, somebody walked into your office and they need to ask you a quick question you can simply hold down either shift key on your keyboard and that puts the program temporarily into a sleep mode um, so that you don't accidentally trigger something off while you're talking to somebody. <laughs> um, so I hope you enjoyed this demonstration and I hope you can see just exactly how fast you can you can work. Um, it I've done this cube many 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 times. I've done it both using my using Genie Voice command uh, to to and I also done it manually without uh, without using any sort of voice uh, control to trigger off commands, doing it the old-fashioned way, clicking on the different the different menus, um, and you know holding down the right mouse mouse button and clicking edge or face or or hitting one of the F keys, and it usually takes me about five minutes to make this cube from scratch, um, just as you see. But using my voice and uh, using Genie Voice Command, I'm able to cut that down that time down to about half, about two and a half uh, minutes versus five minutes. So I hope you can definitely see um, that it is definitely worthwhile uh, plug-in to have um, a plug-in and program. It's a combination of a plug-in and program um, to really speed up your workflow. And, um, and so thank you very much for watching this demonstration and hope to see you in the next video.